she was in danger long before she tried to leave. And we had a chance to save her. Hello? Threat to life, threat to life. I can't wait for the entry team. I'm going in. I understand you're upset. She could have died, Collins. That's why I want to speak to you. Because I think you might know things no one else knows. You're a good cop, Lizzie Adama. What is it that's so hard for you to understand? You ever lost someone you loved? It's all their time. You don't bloody give up, do you? Here, Jimmy. Good morning, Jeff. How are you doing? Loving the background. Me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Well, I just wanted to say thank you for joining this morning to talk about the tower too, and uh, you know, I'm it's exciting. It's really excellent. So, congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so thank much. <laughs> And Tahira, where do we find Adama this season? You know, she seems to be pretty busy with cold cases and other things. Well, yeah, no, I mean, it was, it's, um, she's busy with uh, a domestic abuse case. Um, and Sarah Collins is busy with the cold case, but obviously their, um, their, their stories um, intertwine and they end up kind of working together um more by circumstance um and less by kind of a desire to so she's so uh, yeah lizzie lizzie's in the thick of it and it has got a lot to deal with this season and jimmy bradshaw is being recruited for a task force to go after a local crime boss but is there a trust issue with shaw oh definitely i i, I think what i love about steve <clears throat> is that you know, he doesn't forget anything, you know, he still doesn't trust Shaw. And it's really nice to see Steve on the front foot straight away. Uh, there's a couple of scenes where you see Steve just cut to the chase when it comes to Shaw. Uh, but also, I think what you're going to see in season two is how Steve's challenged and stretched, you know, there's some decisions he's going to have to make. Um, but I've really enjoyed sort of having more scenes this season with uh, Tahira. I don't want to give too much away, but we get to spend a bit more time together. Well, Tahira, what kind of police officer is Lizzie Adama becoming? I mean, she's no longer a rookie. She, I mean, the thing is, it's funny, people keep saying that, and actually she still is, you know, she's still really new in the force. Uh, she's, I mean, think, I think the storyline between the first season and this season is only really six weeks um, has passed since the end of uh, last season. So she's still pretty inexperienced. She's still quite new, but I think because she's been through so much in such a short amount of time and witnessed such a horrific event in season one, um, it, it's definitely changed her, um, and she's had to, to you know, to, to kind of mature and progress really quickly. And I think you you still see the side of Lizzie that's empathetic and will always prioritize other people's. Uh, safety above her own. But I think you see a Lizzie that has a bit more edge um, this season. And Jimmy, how about you? Bad luck just follows her. Yes, bad go ahead. Just follows her. Look how much bad luck just follows Lizzie. Look how much she's done <laughs> in eight weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Your work colleague must be, don't put me with her. No. <laughs> uh, sorry, 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 Jeff. That's great. <laughs> Well, Jimmy, how would you how would you describe the relationship between Bradshaw and Adama? You know what I would uh, describe it as it's almost it's almost he's got that uncle vibes. Now, you know, it's Uncle Steve because I think what was really key is the scene where he stopped her from jumping off the building. I think a lot of people forget that that was a yeah. real turning point in their relationship and. I think that influences Steve's uh, decision in season one to help her. But also, I think underneath that, in, in Patrick's nuanced writing, there's that sense that Steve really does see her as part of the future for the Metropolitan Police Force. And, uh, and as, a, as a Black woman who's very good, he just felt like it, it, it wouldn't be fair if she just got, you know, left to sort of take the blame because it wasn't just her fault. You know, Shaw has the blame. And then you're talking about uh, privilege, you're talking about abuse of power. And I think, so right now, I think them coming together, he could see, she's still, yeah, she is still a rookie, but he could see the the change in her, I think. You know what I mean? There is, there's a change in both of them. You know, they're yeah. both coming together with a different kind of energy. 
I think it's determination, you know, for both of our characters, there's a different sort of determination in this series um, going forward, which maybe wasn't as apparent in season one. You're right, actually. You're right. Yeah. And, and this season is based on the, the second novel from Kate London. Is it important to stay faithful to the book for fans? I I think so. I think there's a balance, right? There's I think Patrick deserves to have a creative license, but I think you know, if you've read the books, like like I have, there is a sense where you don't want it to go too far away. But at the same time, if you don't have creative license, you wouldn't have people like myself and Tahira playing these roles because in the original books, they they were white. And I think Patrick was very aware of like, <laughs> he wanted to reflect the, the realness of London, be authentic and be representative of the Metropolitan Police. And so, so I think it's a balance. And I think we have sort of, done that really really well and you know hopefully we do it again when kate writes a few more books <laughs> <laughs> and to hear you know americans get to see season two before people in the uk how'd we get so lucky <laughs> i know i know right i like honestly a lot of my friends and family are livid <laughs> <laughs> um but no you guys are really in for a treat and um I mean, I was, I think we were all quite shocked. It's like, oh, hang on a minute, it's coming out in the US before <laughs> yeah. it comes out in Britain and it's a British drama. Um, but no, I mean, it, I, I honestly can't wait for, for everyone to see it. And, you know, if you haven't, you know, binged um, season one, then it's, you know, it's on BritBox as well. And because there's such, I think the tower, because it's, um, it's not like, you know, these kind of 20 episode long series, it's, you know, the first series is three episodes. This series is for it's so easy to digest um and not feel like you're making this massive commitment well i have a suggestion to hear it just bring your family over here to las vegas where i am you can watch the whole season and have a good time too <laughs> i'm sure i can sell it to them <laughs> hey that sounds like a great idea what's oh, my great. invite jeff what's i know you're invite? invited absolutely guys both of you are invited <laughs> <laughs> thank you so Thank you so much for joining me and uh, good luck with the series. And uh, let's talk again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.